All right, man, let's talk about the Detroit Lions. Barry Sanders reveals Matthew Stafford's plan status as far as he knows for 2021. And also, Arthur Smith is basically getting a second interview. I think he's the first coach to get a second interview. I didn't even know he got a first interview because he still was in the playoffs. But, hey, let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Lions news playlist. And we gave you video after video today. And I, th I think I might put one more up. I might save it to tomorrow. I don't know. But, basically, I'm serious. XM Satellite Radio, uh, which that's nice. If you ain't got that, get it. Um... No commercials, you got cussing, bitch, fuck, all that. But, <laughs> sorry, some kids. But Barry Sanders said Matthew Stafford intends to play next year. And, obviously, the Lions are going to lose next year. There ain't two ways around it. He got knocked out three games this year. He cost us a Chicago beer game. He was like, well, DeAndre Swift dropped the wall. Well, Stafford threw a pick on an RPO. He threw a pick. All right, Um, who else we got? Uh. He lost us the Minnesota game. He threw two picks. He lost the Indianapolis game. He threw two picks. One that turned into a pick six. He, in the Minnesota game, he threw two pick sixes. He threw a pick six. In, I mean, no, excuse me. He threw a pick in the red zone. Tell me where I'm lying. He got knocked out the Bucks game, which I thought at the beginning of the season, that was a winnable game. You know, and that's just what I can remember. Okay, he lost us the Minnesota game. Oh, there was a bad call. There's always a bad call. He threw a pick. People killed me. Oh, look at his numbers. Like, looking at the numbers and watching them play. Two different things. All his numbers come in garbage time and meaningless games. He played what? They played what? Five or six teams. They played six teams above five that had winning records this year. Tell me his stats in those six games against winning teams. He's 9-60 and 60 versus winning teams. That's a fact. So them bringing them back, I already know what it is. They're not drafting a quarterback early. It's going to be the same shit. And y'all going to sit here every year and listen to these YouTubers that hit the reset button. They can draft the they can go hire the GM y'all want. They can hire the coach y'all want. It's the same shit every year. And I get the same flack every year. Oh, CJ, you a hater. You ain't a real Lion fan. And, you know, you, you don't believe. And then every year, y'all sitting here looking depressed. You know what? Don't nobody come back and say, you know what, CJ? You was right, man. I apologize. You know, CJ, you was right about the Pistons. They are rebuilding. They do suck this. Nobody ever comes back and say, you was right. Not never. That never happens. Nobody ever come. Oh, CJ, you was right. I was right about the Pistons. They got their ass whooped again tonight. Who here say, oh, CJ, you was right about the Pistons? Oh, they're going to be the playoffs, CJ. They're going to be the eight for seven. This year, the Lions going to be 11 and 5. I don't keep, can't see them being worse. They only played six teams above 500. So, why didn't Stafford make the playoffs? He couldn't beat, he couldn't win eight games out of 10, ga out of 10 teams that wasn't above 500? Come on. Stop it. And he didn't even win the Chicago Bear game. Romeo Cora won that game with a strip fumble. Well, the defense ain't winning us no games this year. Well, Romeo Cora won you that game. You know, and them bringing them back, just classic lines. Ain't nothing changed. They can hire Chris Spielman. They can hire Rick Spielman. As long as the Ford's running them, this is going to be the results you're going to get. You're saying they trying to lie to the media saying that, oh, we, we're going to hire Kevin Colbert. That ain't going to happen. Why would John Snyder and Kevin Colbert come to this dumpster fire? You know, and whoever they hire, y'all all going to be sitting here next year. I ain't saying no YouTube niggas' names. Y'all going to be sitting here next year eating it up. Y'all going to shit on like Patricia. You know, we gave him a chance. I was a victim as well. I was a victim of that circumstance. Like Patricia, y'all, oh, he going to do it. And then every year, y'all get y'all hopes up. It's the same shit after why. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. You know, whatever the hell the saying is. Real talk. I told y'all what it was. I'm going to tell y'all the truth every year. As long as Stafford is here, it ain't going to be no winning. Ain't going to be no playoff winning. Ain't going to be no NFC North winning. Ain't going to be no home playoff games. I'm just being honest. You know, and if he was if he was a, a color folk, if he was color folk, sir, Matthew Stafford, he'd have been gone. He wouldn't have got a second contract. He'd have been gone. And think about it. He he came to an 0-16 squad and so did Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield already won a playoff game this second year. Well, the Browns did a better job of, you know, he had Calvin Johnson. He had a top defense with Calvin Johnson. With, with Golden Tate, if my memory serves me correct, he still can put points on the board. Stafford coming back is a bad omen. The Lions will fail this year. So if you got to, if I got to keep Matthew Stafford next year and we can't trade him and I got to keep him and I'm the GM, I'm uh, Snyder or I'm Cobra, why the fuck would I come to Detroit? If I'm Brad Holmes, and Atlanta give me the job. Oh, shit, fuck Detroit. I'm going to Atlanta. Arthur Blank said you could trade Matt Ryan. You could trade Julio Jones. You could do whatever you want to do. Why would I go to Detroit and I got to be stuck with Matthew Stafford? 
I only I gotta be stuck with five draft picks with only ten million under uh, uh, cap space. Please, don't nobody want this job, especially with number nine. Sorry ass. And that's why you're probably gonna end up with Arthur Smith, and pretty much people want him. Don't be surprised if they don't name me as the head coach because they can't find nobody to coach this team. You know, and, and Barry still being affiliated with this team after a short fallout is just, you know, they got to financially be paying him. They got to financially be paying Barry. Barry been sent through misery since he's been drafted here. And, and to watch it, when they refused to trade him, they refused to trade Calvin Johnson, they refused to pray and Dominic and Sue and lost him for nothing. Come on, wake up. You stuck with number nine. He ain't, he ain't Peyton Manning. He ain't number 18. He ain't terrific. He stuck with a motherfucker that's nine wins and oh, versus 60 losses to winning opponents. Somebody who went 0-6 this year versus winning teams. Come on. He fought, He faced 10 teams that, that had losing records this year. 10. And he only got five wins. He couldn't get eight. Oh, you hate no staff. I love, I love when black people say it. You hate no staff for CJ. You know, he's a good quarterback. Oh, oh, Matt Stafford is good white folks, sir. He, he is good white folk. CJ, don't, don't, CJ, he good white folk, CJ. Matt Stafford is good white folk. He not, it, it's 90 60, CJ. It's a Lions record. Get out of here, man. And I'm going to keep speaking the truth. If you don't like it, fuck you. Well, CJ, why you got to be negative about the Lions? Man, I'm being factual. You want me to be fake? Go ahead and go to them other niggas' channels. Go ahead and go over there. And, and, and when they get to losing, you don't hear from a motherfucker for weeks. <laughs> you don't hear to them after the game. Well, you know, I thought they was going to win, but... You know, how many people making Piston videos? You know what I'm saying? Quiet as hell. If the Pistons on the 20-game winning streak or how many games they play, they be making videos. When they lose, you don't hear from them, but every now and again. You'll be killing me. You know what I'm saying? You hear from these jokers every now and again. I respect people who push the, push the optimism, optimism every day, and they consistent about it. I'm cool with that, even though you stupid. But I love the ones that kind of go hiding. Love them. Yeah, CJ, man, you know, you know, we got to uplift Matthew Stafford, huh? We got to put him on a pedestal, huh? We he asked quarterback, huh? Let's get out. Even the Chicago Bears moved on from Jay Cutler. Even the Bears moved on from Jay Cutler. The Lions can't move on. Come on, man. I'm telling y'all what it is next year. Don't even ask me what their record is. It's gonna be losing. I ain't even looked at the schedule. I ain't even looked. I ain't even looked. You know, but. You know, he coming back next year, so be it. I expect nothing less from the Fords. And Sheila's starting to look as dumb as her old lady and dumb as her old man. His racist ass. Y'all gotta go look his history up. Come on, man. Mr. Ford, shit. Her mama like that, too. Be killing me to see all the all the, the wealthy white people after everybody got killed last year, innocent black, and got beat. Now everybody want to, you know, trying to act like we got a problem, you know? All that really is, is is rich and wealthy and white people losing power. That's what they got. The, that's what it boiled down to. And you got to understand that, man, that America didn't understand they had a race problem to Donald Trump. I mean, that's why I love that Donald Trump got in the office. He wasn't worth nothing else. He showed people that the real bigotry of America. You know, a lot of people thought we was past it, please. And this is number white privilege for number nine. Nothing but white privilege. If number nine was a black quarterback, I mean... I'm gonna ask this question. If number nine was a black quarterback, you can ask him in the comment section. Would he still would he be able to be nine and sixty? Would he be able to be thirteen years in, no playoff wins, only three appearances? You answer that question. But Arthur Smith getting the second interview, and I expect nothing less from the Lions. Um, you know, I don't I don't know much about Arthur Smith. I know he was able to, you know, turn Ryan Tannehill into a fortune into a, a a really good quarterback. I mean, some people thought he was an MVP candidate. Uh, sometime this year, and it might not be a bad thing, but Matthew Stafford didn't have quarterback gurus. He didn't have really good coordinators. He didn't have some bad ones, but he is what he is in year 13. Ryan Tannehill right now is a better quarterback than Matthew Stafford. You can say what you want to say. He mobile, just like today's quarterback, most of them mobile, and he throw a better deep ball than Stafford. You know, and, and you know, you come to Detroit, you're not working with no 
no young whippersnapper quarterback. You working with yesterday's leftover garbage. And for bringing Arthur Smith here, I mean, I mean, I don't really see what he can improve on. You don't have a Derrick Henry. You don't have an All Pro line. You got a good line here. You know, you don't you don't have AJ Brown. You don't have you know, you know, you don't have the defense they had even last year. This year it's not that good. You don't have that. You know, that's my thing about it. You know, when most people sit here, they talk about they be funny. They talk about how they don't like Arthur Smith. And then next year they be talking about how he's the greatest coach ever and he gonna win twelve ball games next year. They do it with Stafford. Minnesota game, people say, Oh, Stafford garbage, he trash, we gotta get rid of him. And all those same people saying that, oh you we gotta keep him and you know, this, that, but I'm just saying, I mean, Arthur Smith become a coach. I don't think it's the worst option. Uh, you know, but then remember y'all said the problem is defense. So what do you do to help the defense? That's my question. And, you know, Arthur Smith is a good coordinator. He didn't have the best game versus Baltimore. I thought he should have used Derrick Henry and got him uh, rolling in the passing game. But, I mean, he got options. Airbnb enemy said he might not. He went away for the right opportunity. And I still say the best option is pretty getting Marvin, Marvin Lewis and giving him a second chance. But most people don't believe in second chances. So he fucked up the first time. He was 0-7, you know. The only reason Mike Brown ended up firing Marvin Lewis is simply because the community wanted to. And look what the community got. Lottery picks or high picks today. Let me know what you guys think. Check the Detroit Lions Talk playlist out. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out anytime if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. All the social media links are in the description. Twitter is the fast way, Facebook and Instagram. When advertise your business on the channel, type it up. All links there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. One time.